morning, good morning, peeps. I am on a road trip today from Hobart. I'm heading myself out to Richmond, heading out to the Bonnering Sanctuary. But uh, we have stopped in here at the Coal River Farm. And if anyone who watches uh, the Amazing Race, the Australia Amazing Race, stopped here and uh, this little wee goat down here, if you can see this goat, the goat is Chili the goat. Chili's house. And this is Chili. Chili, Chili the goat, she's still here. Here, hello Chili. So Chili the goat was famous on the, uh, the Amazing Race Australia. This place is famous for cheese and chocolates. So let's go. So we popped into Frogmore's. That's actually close today. So we just had a quick squiz around the uh, vineyard. It's not open, but we came to the Frogmore Winery. to the Bonnerong Sanctuary. It cost $32 to get in. And the first little guy that we get greeted with is uh, Wee the Wombat. So I chose the Bonnerong Sanctuary rather than the Zudu Zoo, which is also out this way. It's a rescue sanctuary aims to get fragile Tasmanian wildlife back into the wild. By choosing this, it felt more personal rather than just a viewing arena just to come see some animals. It's a little wee wombat. Yeah, it's little, isn't it? Yeah. Hello, my name is Randall. I used to live out in the wild, but I was attacked by a dog and was injured so badly that I have to have my front leg amputated. This means I cannot dig properly and protect myself from predators. As a result, I now live here and buy a wrong permit. little he's huge he's freaking huge and he's scary So thank you for visiting the Bonnerong Sanctuary. Yes, is it worth a visit? Absolutely. 33 bucks, you can spend as long as you want. It's open from nine to five. So make sure you pop in when you're here in Hobart. Life is a winding road. Model village. Oh, I've heard about the model village. I haven't been there. So yeah, I've heard about that. Yeah, as you can see, Richmond is. Won't stop for traffic lights. And I. Richmond. Ooh, look here, this looks bigger than Ross. So I'm here in Richmond trying the uh, famous award-winning vanilla slice. 
I'm comparing it to the one I had in Ross, and I might just say this one is a little bit nicer because it's got a nice icing on it that just tops the winning edge. So we're here at the Richmond Jail, um, it cost $12 to get in. So constructed between 1825 and 1840, the Richmond Jail is the oldest intact jail in Australia. Take yourself around on your own private tour as there are guided documents and useful information to read. Do you like a little bit of history, experience what it would have been like back in the day? There's a number of rooms and areas to check out. I kind of did feel like a step back in time and it made me realize how bad it would have been back in the day. Holding rooms, punishment cells, with some of the original items still on site. A flogging yard where I think they flogged every second day. It housed women and men and the cells were ridiculously small and dark. All alone, women's solitary cells. Female convicts would be sentenced for between two and 31 days of solitary in these small little rooms and this doesn't even show you really the context of how small these rooms are. Men fill a tree. Let's go in here. Pretty dark. Ooh, red water and silence. Prisoners could be locked inside these cells for up to 31 days. Oh yeah. Ooh, this is quite freaky. Ooh. Ooh, yuck. So we have popped into the old Hobart town here in Richmond and it is a replica, a miniature replica of old Hobart town in the 1820s. It costs $17.50 an adult to get in here and let's go check it out peeps. You can't come to Richmond without coming to the famous Richmond Bridge. So that's what I've done. Woo! Okay, so it's just the bridge, but people come here to snap a shot. Haha, -ha, I came and I snapped. Built by convicts, completed in 1825, makes this the Coal River Bridge in Richmond, the oldest freestone bridge in Australia. Just an FYI, take yourself to Campbelltown. There's the Red Bridge. Built in 1838, it is the oldest arch bridge and the oldest bridge anywhere on Australia's highways. How about take yourself to Ross? There's the Ross Bridge, one of the most picturesque and unusual bridges completed in 1836. So it's been a long day today, peeps. We've been out and about uh, on a road trip trip with my friend Monica. She has just dropped us off at a hotel and I'm just going to take you through a little bit of a squiz through the hotel we're staying at which is the West Point Hotel here in Hobart. 230, ignore all the luggage. So we have a bathroom here and it actually does have a bath which I'm very excited about. A bath here, a little bit of a, the freebies, the bathroom, and just the single bed and a, a double bed here. And we do have a view, but I can't show you the view because it's dark, but we do obviously have a waterfront view. I hope you have enjoyed the video on our road trip today. 
um if you've liked this video wouldn't you give me a like and a thumbs up um subscribe to my channel and i'll spot you in the next video peeps Oh yeah.